Well, I wasn't in New York yet. I was living in Austin, Texas. Um, and it was, if not my first day of college, it was the first week of college. Um, and it was kind of interesting. And I, I, ma I make note of that because it sort of shaped the next four years of school. I mean, it was so many things, like all of a sudden so many classes came out about you know, Islam and the Middle East and Arabic language courses and, and things like that that people all of a sudden had more of an interest in. Um, and I remember seeing it, um, I was about to leave, at the time I still lived um, with my family and I was about to leave to go to school and my mom called me downstairs and said, be careful today. And I was like, why, what's going on? And I came down and saw the TV just in time for the, I think for the second flight and plane hit, plane crashing into the building, unless it was a replay, but it was, it was pretty soon after. Um, and her first thought was, this is, you know, this is going to make things really difficult for you. I was wearing my hijab at the time. I've been wearing it for a long time. Um, and uh, sure enough, there was, you know, in the, in the days and weeks following that, there was a lot of instances of people getting harassed. Um, I remember my Arabic teacher who was, you know, this tiny old man getting spit on by somebody on campus, th things like that. But I would say for the most part, it was not as bad as, as some of the other incidences that I'd heard around the country from other people.